Alright, hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and today, ooh, I got, a, I got a compliment, hey, hey, hey. Um, and today we are here with episode 3 of Finding the Best Merges, so today we will be flipping things with 100 mil for one hour, so today the category will be flipping the highest margins category on GE Tracker. They are a sponsor of mine and I will be using them throughout the episodes. If you guys want to check them out, they will be in the description down below, but they are very helpful for finding margins and I'll look to kind of show that here today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and I will go on over to the site right now. I'm looking at it right now and there is actually a really good merch that I'd like to do that really could help us out. So let's head on over. All right, so this is where I want to be. So basically I went to highest margins and now I'm going to sort by highest profit. So as you guys can see, an Elijah has about a nine mil margin right now. Can't merge that, however, with a hundred mil. So what I'm going to look to right now is probably this imbued heart and Bando's ornament kit. The ornament kit, I, I know I could buy a couple of. Um, I also kind of want to buy something that's more high volume, something like Primordial Boots who have an 83K margin right now, which is really nice. But uh, I can't do all of that at once, so we're going to kind of have to pick and choose. Right now, I think I'm going to go with the Imbued Heart and probably a couple mil over on the Bando's Ornament Kit, and then I'll find something else from there. Alright, so before we get into the video, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a good forewarning that the way that I set up this video and doing it within one hour isn't the best way to do these types of items. Items with the biggest margins are typically going to be some of the slowest merchant items in the game. If you look at the buying and selling quantity per hour of the items that I checked out over on GE Tracker, they were all around two to four, which is very low and means sometimes you aren't even going to be able to buy and sell some of those items within the hours you guys will come to see in the video. Also, I'd like to say that at some points in the video, my keyboard kind of goes a little crazy because my mic was a little too close to it, and it is a little annoying, but I don't think it's overly, it is too overpowering, so hopefully you guys can get past that, but with that being said, let's get into the video. Alright, so there we go, I got the timer going, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and throw in an offer for an imbued heart, I believe, and uh, I got to buy this for 67.752, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then uh, I think we'll do a couple bandles ornament kits, and I'll update you when I got all the offers in. Alright, not exactly what I was looking for, but uh, I guess I'll take it. So apparently the, uh, the margins have changed since I last did it, but... I still think I can make a decent amount of money off this, so I'm going to go ahead and sell it for this, hopefully, and uh, we'll go from there, so that wouldn't be too bad of a profit right there. Alright, so now going to go check the margins on Heavy Ballistas myself, just to make sure that they are what they are. I believe we'll be able to buy and sell off a decent amount of these before uh, before the hour's over, hopefully. I know with their recent nerf, they're not going to be as, you know, sought after, but... There we go, that's a decent margin. We'll go ahead and take that good 50k. Alright, so there you go. As you guys can see, I have everything, or all of my cash, pretty much dispersed right now. Everything has a decent margin on them. Right now, the Arcane, or not the Arcane, but the Ancient Pages have like 130k, which is insane for those. The Bandos Ornament Kits are like 225, Imbued Hearts around a 300k. Fury Ornament Kit, um, the Fury Ornament Kit, Gut Themselves, and Heavy Ballistas are all between 50 and 70k, so it's not that bad at all, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do something decent here. Alright, so I'm actually really surprised. Within the first few minutes, we've already had a lot of stuff sell, so right, or buy slash sell. So one of the ballistas has sold on, we've ended up buying four, an Ancient Page is bought, and then also the Imbued Heart, which was a huge merge, just ended up selling off. That was, I don't even know how much that was, like almost 500k, so I'm going to go ahead and do that again. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see what we can do. Alright, so with this, we've kind of reached a problem. Um, I see we're only at 43 minutes, so we kind of need to get to selling some of this stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to list this stuff down just a little bit because I think I might have gotten undercut on that, which isn't too big of a deal, but I just want to get it out of here. Also, I have four ancient pages and now sitting here, and I don't know what the actual price is for them. I guess I could refresh the site, probably. That would be a good idea. All right, so, oh, uh, now Armadil page threes are really good. Oh, God, ancient page. All right, come on now. You got to be kidding. What? What? Ancient Pages now say that I have the buy offer. Come on. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and buy an Ancient Page. What was I doing? Three, I think. So, no, Ancient Page two. Okay. All right. So since I have a lot of Ancient Pages, I'm going to go ahead and buy one right now. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So, as you guys can see, this one didn't buy for 300k. So I'm going to leave these in for 300k. If these all sell, that means I'd make about 270k, I think, off of them. Or no, I'd make almost I'd make almost 400k off of those, which would be really nice. And then right now it says Armadil Page 3s are really good. So I'm going to go ahead and check out that. And Armadil Page 3. 
So it says I can buy it for 420k. <laughs> Lit. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy what five? Is that how many I can buy? Yeah, we'll go ahead and buy five. So there hasn't been a lot of movement on a lot of these things, like these three things in particular haven't bought or sold at all. So I might move off of them. I know the Bandos ornament kits are just really, really iffy. Um, but they have a really good margin, so I'm going to keep them in there. I know they don't buy and sell a lot in hours, so I kind of have to be patient with them. However, the Berserker necklace and the Fury ornament kits, I might just back off of because they aren't that big of margins anyways, and I could probably find something else with a better margin. Alright, so from here, it's kind of a decision of what do I want to do. Do I want to keep doing this imbued heart that isn't buying? And I'm going to say that I don't, because right now there's Abyssal Bludgeons. It says that the buy and sell per hour is really low for Bludgeons. However, I've personally done these before, and I don't think it's that low. So, I'm going to go ahead... Oh, Jesus Christ, misspelling. I'm going to go ahead and try to buy some Bludgeons. Alright, so there we go. going to go ahead and try to buy two Bludgeons for 42127. And uh, they should have about a 200k margin on both of them. So, hopefully we can hit that. Alright, there we go. Finally got an Abyssal Bludgeon to buy, which is really exciting. Also an Armadale Page 3. Jesus, we haven't had anything buy in forever, so I was kind of getting a little nervous that I wasn't going to make that much money this video, but there we go. This should be a good 200k coming in right here off the Bludgeon. So yeah, going to sell that off. Then the Armadale Page 3 will actually be able to sell off for about 120k profit if all goes well with that one. So i uh, going to go ahead and list it up for 542k and we should be good to go on that. So Ranger Boots right now apparently have an 800k margin, which is absolutely insane. And someone probably just got pretty lucky to actually be able to buy it for that. However, I'm going to go ahead and try to do the same thing. So, I ended up taking out some of my uh, offers on other things. Right now, there's a Toxic Staff as well that has a decent margin, so I might try to go and get that. Not that one, the other one. Alright, so this staff is uh, doing doing pretty decent right now. So, apparently I could buy it for 9 nine six eight and we'll be able to sell it on for about 120k profit if that one or two i guess is able to sell all right we will uh go ahead and try out what what do we want to try out this uncharged china honestly though i did throw in an offer for this just a little bit ago but it was not buying so i'm gonna go ahead and try again and we'll see if this one's able to buy so uh this is where we got all of our offers at right now and uh hopefully within the next 30 minutes that's able to change a little bit all right, so you're nearing the end of the hour. We haven't had a whole lot of stuff buy at this point. I am going to try to buy one of these ancient pages and see what it ends up selling for. Or I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do about them. <laughs> I have four of them, and they're not selling. So it is what it is, but we had all this stuff sell off. So I think I'm just going to leave the rest of the stuff in here just for a little bit. I don't know why I haven't had the, either of these things buy since they are very high-volume items or more high-volume than the rest of the things I've been merching. But, uh, yeah, I feel like this has been pretty decent. If we get these Ranger Boots to buy in these final two and a half minutes, I will be pretty hyped, though. Uh, for the most part, I'm going to let everything go ahead and sell off, and then uh, I'll be back at the end. But there shouldn't be a whole lot of stuff buying at this point. My ears just started bleeding due to this timer being so loud, so I'm going to go ahead and take out all of the offers for the rest of the stuff. And then we'll wait for the final little bit to sell. Alright, so there we go. Gonna go ahead and take off the timer. But uh, as you guys can see, it was able to sell off all the Ancient Page 2s. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect that. Then on top of that, with the Armadale Page 3, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it off. Because I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with it right now. So, I'm just gonna go ahead... Probably could still make money on this, but it hasn't sold yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and dump it. That's pretty much the price I ended up paying for it. So as you guys can see, we made over a mil in this hour, which in and of itself is insane. Um, especially considering that a lot of the items that you guys saw here today, they are more focused on a longer time frame. So like going to sleep or if you're going to leave for a few hours, those are items that you really want to do. Because they have very low like buying quantities. Um, so yeah, it doesn't work the best with this one hour setup that I did, however, I was able to make 1.2 mil, or almost 1.3 mil off of it, so that's really good. It's a uh, obviously a decent amount of GP within an hour, I would say, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. If you guys want to check out GE Tracker, go ahead and do it in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like. If you guys want to see more as soon as it goes live, hit the sub button. Anything you guys want to tell me, comment about it down below. If you guys want to hit me up in game, feel free to message me on either my account, small exp lamp or large exp lamp. Um, 07 helpers is the clan chat I chill in, and the Twitter is in the description down below. Nonetheless, hope you guys have a wonderful day and peace.